Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of Q over P. Given that log to base 9 of P is equal to log to base 12 of Q, which in turn is equal to log to base 16 of P plus Q. And P and Q are both positive. Now to solve this problem, let log to base 9 of P be equal to log to base 12 of q be equal to log to base 16 of p plus q be equal to x so from here we have that log to base 9 of p is equal to x log to base 12 of Q is also equal to X and log to be 16 of P plus Q is also equal to X. Of course, you know that from here we have that 9 to the power X is equal to P. That is, P is equal to 9 to the power X. From here we have that 12 to the power x is equal to q that is q is equal to 12 to the power x and from here we have that 16 to the power x is equal to p plus q so p plus q is equal to 16 to the power x now look at this if we divide both sides of this equation by p we are going to have that p divided by p of course is 1 plus q over p is equal to 16 to the power x divided by p but of course we know that p is equal to 9 to the power x and of course q is equal to 12 to the power x so we have that 1 plus 12 to the power x divided by 9 to the power x is equal to 16 to the power x divided by 9 to the power x. And from here we have 1 plus, since these two numbers have the same exponent, we can write them as 12 over 9 to the power x and this is equal to doing exactly the same thing 16 over 9 to the power x we have 1 plus of course you know that we can reduce this fraction we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 9 divided by 3 is 3 and this is raised to power x Notice that 16 is 4 squared and 9 is 3 squared. And of course, this is raised to power x. But of course, you know that this is the same as 4 over 3 squared because they have the same exponent raised to power x. And of course, remember that when we have a to the power m raised to power m, that this is equal to a to the power m multiplied by n and it is also equal to a to the power n raised to power m. So this right hand side is the same as 4 over 3 to the power x squared. And on the left hand side, we still have 1 plus 4 over 3 to power x. Now remember that this is the quotient we are looking for. That is q over p. So let 4 over 3 to the power x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation becomes 1 plus d is equal to d squared. 
And when we rearrange this equation, we have d squared minus d minus 1 is equal to 0. We cannot factorize this equation, but we can solve by completing the square method. And since the coefficient of d squared is already 1, the next step is to move this constant term over to the right-hand side. When we do that, we have d squared minus d is equal to 1. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to add the square of half the coefficient of d to both sides of the equation. What is the coefficient of d? It is minus 1. What is half of that? Minus half. And the square of this is that. So we are going to add this quantity to both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this equation. When we do that, we have d squared minus d plus minus half squared is equal to 1 plus minus half squared is 1 over 4. Now, of course, you know that this is a perfect square. So we take d and we take minus half and we square both. Note that if you expand this, this is exactly what you're going to get. And this is equal to 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1, 5. 5 over 4. Now, the next step to solving this equation is to take square root of both sides. When we take square root of both sides of this equation, we have that d minus half is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 over 4. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 4, which is 2. So from here, we have that d is equal to half plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So we have two values of d. We have that d is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, or 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now this is positive, and this is negative. Remember that p and q are both positive. So there is no way that q over p is going to be negative. So this value is not acceptable. So we have that when log 9 of p is equal to log 12 of q, and in turn equal to log 16 of p plus q, q over p is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, which is actually the golden ratio. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.